The Perfection is a new film that came out on Netflix this weekend. It was something I knew nothing about other than seeing the trailer the other night and it looked like a sort of horror um, psychological thriller. Uh, the story, and this is all plot spoilers by the way, is about a woman who you see in a sudden flash at the start um, had some sort of family trauma with her mother dying um, and some sort of history of mental issues where she's seen undergoing um, shock therapy and hurting herself um, goes to Shanghai to an event being held by a prestigious um, music school particularly for cellos um, and she sees her old tutor and the new protege that he's got um, and instantly you can tell that there is a rivalry and a resentment between them all. Um, she bonds with the rival and they're called Charlotte and Elizabeth by the way um, and they have sex and they go on a day trip and during that day trip it then turns from a sort of erotic thriller that you think it might be into a body horror film um, she's spewing up everywhere she's having some sort of hemorrhagic fever um, it's foreshadowed like five minutes earlier that there's this possible virus going on in the local area um, she's seeing bugs in her sick she's got bugs crawling out of her arms um, she she's freaking out and she ends up chopping her hand off um, and then you see a flashback where it rewinds the whole film and you see that it was all set up by the um, by Elizabeth the girl sorry Charlotte even the girl with the uh, psychological issues um, and that she wanted her to chop her hand off out of jealousy then you see Elizabeth go back home with her chopped off hand back to the music school where she gets um, shunned by the music school people. They, they offer to pay for her help but they don't want her in the school, they don't want anything really to do with her, they're sort of buying her off. Um, and then you see her go to um, Charlotte's house, um, taser her and hold her captive in her trunk and take her to the music school as an offering. Um, you've got a feeling there's something sinister going on with this music school. Um, then it turns into a sort of kidnap drama where you see Charlotte trying to escape and then you find out that there's some history with what this uh, teacher at the school does to his pupils. He makes them play in this special room that he says has got perfect acoustics and if they cannot put in a perfect performance then they got to pay the price. And the price is basically getting raped by him. There's some contraption where you have your arms strung up on, on sort of a, on cables and pulled apart and so you can't move, you've got your feet chained down and he comes at you and does what he has to do. Um, then from that point onwards uh, you see this girl with her stump, she goes I want to have a go on it. So she gets her stump and she you think she's about to start fisting her with her stump and just as that happens the guy's that are helping her drop dead and it turns out that you have another flashback and you find out that the girls were in it together. They were both um, subject to sexual abuse by the owner of the school and they wanted to get revenge for it. Um, and the one girl sort of forgives the other for chopping off her hand because she knows that by doing that it has prevented her from being um, victimised by this guy anymore because she has no value to him because she cannot play perfectly. Um, then they, <laughs> then what t that turns into a rape revenge thriller where they go after this guy in the building they have a fight with him there is some gross cutting of the arm um, where this knife goes right through Charlotte's forearm and right up to the elbow um, it's CGI but it looks gross um, and because you're not expecting that to be in here even though you've seen someone chop their hand off before um, and then it ends where you see Charlotte and Elizabeth actually playing what you would assume would be perfectly uh, to complement each other. One is because one's lost, they've lost each of their other arms, so one is doing the fingering on the strings, the other is doing the bow work, and they're playing for the mentor who has had his eyes sewn shut, his mouth sewn shut, and his hat, arms and legs chopped off. And you see his arms and legs chopped off, and it's quite a good effect. And that's where it ends. Um, it's it's a film that some people just won't like and won't get. Um, I, I enjoyed it, it was like 80 odd minutes long so it didn't stay around too long and it couldn't be any longer because then you would get bored with it. It's got influences from all over the place, I mean there's things like um, Black Swan, like Dan Aronofsky like stuff, you've got things like um, 
God, I can't think of his bloody name now. Dario Argento type stuff. You've got other sort of mainstream thrillers going in there. You've got a spit on your grave kind of stuff in there. Um, it's it's a great fun film if you enjoy that kind of thriller. If you like you, I think you'd like this as a sort of bridging thing between seasons one and season two of you coming out because it's got similar elements of that dark sort of um, that dark nature, that dark theme. Um, it's obviously not the same level, this is like a level up on a sort of craziness. Um, and if you like sort of old school body horror things or things that are just different and a bit more sort of out there, this is definitely worth watching. I watched it on a Sunday afternoon while my wife was out at work, um, lying on the sofa, and it gave me some WTF moments where it was just me and the cat, and I'd go, What the? What? Oh, you know. You, Especially when certain things happen, and you because you don't know where this thing's going to go, it keeps twisting and turning. Um, I find it really enjoyable. Like I say, some people just won't like it, won't get it. Um, the whole point is that it's about these people. You will never achieve perfection, but ultimately on your own, but you have to work together for it at the end. Um, and it doesn't matter at the end if they're all going to go and get arrested or taken away anywhere. That's not the point of the film. The point of the film is that they've got their revenge and they've been on this journey and they're still playing their cello but together this time you know they are two halves that have been joined together um, and they've got their revenge on the crazy guy who runs the conservatory that they were playing for um, yeah the perfection um, really good film that I'm surprised they didn't hold on until Halloween to put out to be honest it just seems like a strange release for Netflix to put out like on the bank holiday weekend, uh, but I'm glad they did because there's um, not much else worth watching.